हेलो एंड वेलकम टू श्रीदेवी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इन कल्केट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन फिजिक्स एंड रिमूव ऑल योर डाउट एंड कंफ्यूजन सो इन नेक्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वन प्रोबेबल बोर्ड एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पैटर्न इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ लाइन चार्ज ऑफ इनफाइनाइट लेंथ एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट डिवोट few minutes on this video and found similar question pattern in your exam then won't say i left behind firna kehna reh gaya our board examination question may be like this derive expression for electric field for a long line charge of infinite length with uniform line charge density given as lambda coulomb per meter on this long length let's first understand the nature of electric field produced by infinite length uniform charged line at mid positions we have to find out elect electric field at this point p our observation point is this point p and let's take symmetrically two elemental length component and as per coulomb's law the electric field contribution by these two point charges placed at position a and position b are respectively this is electric field of small dl length of position a and this is electric field contribution of elemental line charge at position b and if we resolve parallel to this line charge axis axial component along y direction we will find that two resolve component are equal and opposite and will cancel each other whereas perpendicular to this line charge along this radial line if we resolve component then we'll find that all component will add together so we can say for a infinite length the electric field is only along radial direction at mid positions to find out electric field at observation position p we'll use gauss law and construct a closed symmetrical gaussian surface and for this line charge it's a cylindrical surface with this line charge as its axis now here on this closed cylindrical gaussian surface we have three different surfaces one is this cylindrical surface we call it s1 other two are circular plane surface one is s2 at top and another one is s3 at bottom now everywhere electric field is radial outward for this positive line charge and if we consider area vector normal to the surface da and e vector on this surface both get aligned and it will contribute flux across cylindrical surface and due to symmetry we can also uh, got an advantage that everywhere on this cylindrical surface the magnitude of electric field intensity is the same whereas for top and bottom if we see radial electric field and normal to the surface area vector the two are perpendicular to each other and the dot product for flux calculation across top and bottom term results as zero value as cos 90 is zero so there won't be any flux across top surface or bottom surface and flux is only across cylindrical part of this gaussian surface to find out electric field of this infinite line charge of linear charge density lambda coulomb per meter we have constructed a cylindrical gaussian surface with line charge as its axis and this gaussian surface is passing through our observation point p which is at radial distance from central axis of line charge small r so the total flux coming out of this closed gaussian surface is closed surface integration of electric field intensity as e ds is elemental flux from elemental area ds and total flux can be obtained by integration and integration is performed on closed gaussian surface now this closed integration can be converted into three open integration of electric field over surface of top side second is bottom side and third is cylindrical side and at top and bottom e vector and area vector are perpendicular to each other so the dot product results as zero and there is no flux across top surface and bottom surface as electric field is radial in direction whereas on cylindrical surface everywhere e vector and area vector get aligned so dot product become a simple product as cos 0 is 1 and due to symmetry the magnitude of e is constant everywhere on this cylindrical surface so this e being constant can brought out of integration and total cylindrical surface area with radial distance r from central axis got a circular periphery of 2 pi r and if length of this 
cylinder is L, then the total cylindrical surface area is 2 pi R L. And as per Gauss law, the total flux coming from any closed surface is equal to total enclosed charge divided by permittivity of media. And if this infinite line charge got linear charge density lambda coulomb per unit length then for l length total enclosed charge will become lambda l and total enclosed charge divided by permittivity of air become the total flux coming out of gaussian surface and it is electric field magnitude on surface multiplied by cylindrical surface area of gaussian surface the length l of cylinder and line charge is the same get cancel out and simplification will fetch us electric field strength as lambda upon 2 pi epsilon r if 1 upon 4 pi epsilon is taken as k or 9 into 10 to the power 9 then we can say the strength of electric field can also be written as 2k lambda over r where k is 9 into 10 to the power 9 constant and for different value of radial distance it is clear that electric field is inverse of radial distance and this proportional relation e proportional to 1 by r clearly indicate that variation of electric field for this infinite line charge have a hyperbolic relation with radial distance we hope this small learning video has solved one of your board examination question if you found this useful do share it with your friends notes of this problem and other important problem are given as google drive link from description 